Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Double Check News. It's Mike. It's Dan. Alright, bud. What would you do when you die? When I die? What, what would you want to happen to your body? I want to be buried in the earth. I, I, that's it. You don't want to be cremated? No. Nothing? Although, I would like a Viking send-off, maybe. When they push you out the sea and, and light they, you on fire? Yeah, that's pretty cool. How's that buried in, in the earth? No, I'm just saying, like, that's the cool way. But in How's this day... How's that cool way? Guy's gotta shoot an arrow, and he, and yeah, he can't and then, miss, and then, right? And then your body is like eaten by whatever minuscule crabs and lobsters that are down there. It's pretty cool, wait. That's nasty. But I, I would just go the regular route. What about you? Uh, I'm just gonna live forever. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking. Well, this story is uh, basically, guys, when you die, would you like to become a tree? That is so freaky. That is, look at- Or when your relative dies. Right? Yeah. Or, or your pet. Or your pet. Yeah. Okay, so basically this company, um, they worked with like botanists and whatever, people that understand the soil and chemicals and they developed this thing where when you die, you put your buried, where you put your loved one's ashes along with this uh, soil and yeah. seed yeah. into the ground yeah. and guess what? A tree grows out of it. So, you can, you, you can look at this like many different ways. You know, some people are like, well, yeah, that's way better than me just uh, scattering the ashes uh -huh. across the river. Why don't I plant a tree of my d loved one in my backyard and then they'll always be there. So you could kind of like, I guess the tree is living. So it's kind of like the tree embodies some part of your, that's what they're thinking. Dead loved one. You know, you know where they probably got this idea? What? Guardians of the Galaxy after Groot exploded and then he grew again and they were okay. like, hey, okay. hey, that's pretty cool. Groot came back as a little plant. Oh, why don't we make a... <laughs> yeah, that's like, I'll tell you what, you know what would be freaky? If this tree starts growing, right? Yeah. You know sometimes trees are, you know, they, they take on different shapes and whatever. Yeah. What if, the, you know there's sometimes trees that look like people? Like a girl yeah, making their yeah. faces. Like this all one right kinds, here, where this tree looks like a dancer. Yep. All kind, all kind of trees. What if that tree like grows out? It looks like your loved one. That's some creepy that, stuff. That's why I would never do this. I don't want to find out. Okay, so what else is interesting is, um, hey, you could pick the type of tree. You want a pine tree? <laughs> like, like it's it's like a business, right? Well, let me ask you. Let me ask you. What happens if, let's say, you put in your backyard, yeah. right? Your mom is growing out of your backyard. Okay. So you Man, have that to, just sounds so you're gonna have to own that like house that. forever, right? Yeah, you because can't... if you sell it and then the other people are like, we're gonna cut down this tree, what's or, gonna happen? Or you can't even sell it because the people will come by and they're like, what's that? Be like, oh, that's my loved one growing well, in no, the no, backyard. They're not gonna ask you like, what's that okay, tree? But wait, 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 you know how you're supposed to disclose to someone if somebody's died, someone's in your, died in your house. You're not supposed to, but if they ask, you should. Yeah, you should you're not lie. by legally you're, you're supposed to. Otherwise, oh, they, could, they could like they could like sue you for okay. you know, whatever okay. information. Okay. So do you have to maybe say, hey guys, you love the house, great. By the way, that pine out back, there's a dead person underneath that. <laughs> that spruce tree that looks kind of like a person. Oh my god. Um. I think it's pretty cool though. I do think it's pretty cool for those people who want a memory of their loved one somehow. And it's definitely not a bad thing. It's a tree that's good for the environment. You know who would like this? Who? Forrest Gump. Oh, like. Forrest would be like, like, you know how the last scene he's like, Jenny, Jenny died on a Tuesday or Saturday, or whatever he died, she died. And then I, I planted her on a no, Saturday. No, he's like, he's like, I buried, I buried you under our tree. Yeah, you could have. You could have turned her into a tree, Forrest! Oh man. So I'm looking through the website and reading like, I've read every, like I read about, I read, uh, so this company is formed by a few three entrepreneurs. Uh -huh. The story, you don't see their faces, so I don't know if this is made up or not, but if it's true, it's a pretty cool story. One of the entrepreneurs, they had a loved one that died and they wanted a lasting memory. So they came up with a company that can help the environment and give you a lasting memory. That's pretty cool. Now, the question I want answered is, how long does this take? Is it just a normal life? It's of a, a tree? tree. So it takes so it takes a while. And then they, they, they basically use your relatives as fertilizer fertilizer. <laughs> okay, well I was reading into this. Yeah, they, that's kind of what they do. Yeah, it's, but, it is what it is. But they're saying that uh, people's ashes, it actually it's not a good fertilizer. So this is the whole point of the company. This is why they had to work with botanists. If you just scatter your ashes in the ground. Really? Yeah, I I, the, I this, think we're supposed to be pretty good fertilizer. No, they said 
No. What no. if? What no. if? Well, right hold on, before hold on. you die, uh -huh. you ate a lot. L listen. And then, and then you have a lot of like, es like excrements. Yeah. And that's, that's definitely that's what you're That's what you're thinking of. You're thinking of organic excrement as good. But now they're having ashes. This is so. So dead. what if they did something even creepier? Which is they just put the whole live body underneath. Them. Oh, that's mad. That's that's, 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 that's really good compost. That's messed up. I wouldn't do that. That's really creepy. And then you have bugs eating it. You know, we know that's no, kind of like that's kind of like up, trees dude. growing out of cemeteries. That's messed up. All right, guys. Let us know your thoughts on this story in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. See ya. And you know, like a lot of cultures, like that's why they have a coffin and a burial because you don't want like organisms eating at your dead body. Like there's a lot of beliefs. Dude, everything that. eats at your body when you go into the ground. No, but you're in a coffin. That you're protected. Or you're like, like an ancient Egypt. A coffin Egypt, is not going to protect you against like all these it, worms that's going to no, come it's, and eat your it's, body. Uh, no, it's, that's, that's, that's not. A, that's one of the... Okay, so check this out though. I, I'm, I, there's, there's a good chance that the tree won't grow depending on if you buy a seed or a seedling. I, I have no idea how to plant a tree. But imagine if you spent money on this and, and you don't grow a tree because the seed didn't work. Like what do you do? You need to compost your relatives. You need to like yeah. add someone newer to that. There's a, <laughs> that there's a huge.